What's up Royal fans, welcome back to the channel for your latest in Royal news. Meghan and Harry's yet to be launched foundation is unlikely to be tightly linked to the crown and the Duke's past, according to Royal author Nigel Cawthorn. The Royal expert revealed Archwell's roots are evidently part of the American dream. You act and your rewards will be plentiful. Meghan after all is Americanism and has only lived in Britain briefly. She has lived that story, rising to marry her prince. It is unlikely that the organization will make such use of the couple's royal connections apart from Harry. It is after all his background and his official name is still Prince Harry, not Harry Mountbatten Windsor. Little is known about Archie so far but the meaning behind its name and its purpose. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex opened up on their new foundation in April after paperwork filed in its name emerged. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced at the end of March upon following and bowing out of their old Instagram account, Sussex Royal, they would spend a few months to work behind the scenes on their new charitable organization. In the wake of COVID-19, the pair reached out to their patronages, as well as other associations focused on mental health, such as Crisis, to learn how they were coping and how to help people struggling during the pandemic. Meghan and Harry were later said to have shifted their focus onto the Black Lives Matter protests in the wake of the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Over the summer, the pair spoke about racial inequality, as well as their desire to hold uncomfortable conversations on the past of the Commonwealth. Meghan also spoke extensively about voter registration ahead of the US election and continued to campaign for female empowerment by holding discussions with Feminist Steinem and Nobel Peace Prize Mahala. More recently, the couple have publicly spoken about the importance of building a kinder and more compassionate digital world. Earlier this month, Meghan and Harry hosted a 90-minute panel as part of the Time 100 talk series in which they discussed with experts the dangers of misinformation, the damage of living in an online eco-chamber and how social media platforms are stoking the crisis of truth and health. The pair revealed they have realized it was necessary for them to battle for a better digital landscape in order to keep on fighting other issues, such as climate change, equal access to education or mental health. Shortly after the virtual Time 100 talk, Meghan and Harry unveiled a preview of the website for Archwell. At the moment, the simple and clean webpage only presents the meaning and pronunciation of the words Arch and Well, and the possibility to sign up to a mailing list. The website's title, Building Compassionate Communities, hints at the focus of the foundation under which the Sussexes will likely group all their interests and charitable work done so far. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex haven't yet said when the public can expect a full launch of their foundation. So there you have it guys, that's all the things Meghan and Harry have been meddling in over the past couple of months. What do you think of it? Let me know, leave a comment, like the video and please don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you tomorrow and goodbye for now.